been a minute since we have been in this car and there's some plans I have, but they've just been, there's so many other things that have been going on that really derailed me from doing more with this car. I'm kind of just going back now and doing some of the things that I used to do. I mean, I, I kind of, got derailed with the shop build and we started doing some truck stuff and we did a whole build on my rebel and I kind of lost the path of modding the Camaro kind of when we built the shop in 2018 there was not a whole lot more that I was gonna do because I did a whole lot in a very short amount of time with this car we did the Vortec V3 SI we did BMR Springs I did different wheels I did different tires we did a lot of drag racing and traveling around we got the race trailer and it was just kind of like the whole start of the channel getting together with other people in the car community and honestly I met most of my friends in the YouTube car community and just in general through buying this car so it was absolutely an awesome experience to buy this car and just kind of go through that progression of modding it and meeting with different sponsors and and different ways that you can make this car your own because it was a really awesome platform probably the best Camaro platform ever made and it's gone through some revisions after that but we're not really going to get into that because this is kind of where I'm going to stay with the Camaro I absolutely love this body style this front end these tail lights this is my Camaro this is this is my generation that I really really do like and we've had some hiccups along the way I'm not gonna lie there's been a little bit of uh, loss of love for this car at times just because of frustrations with tuning and all that kind of stuff and I gotta say a big thanks to Mabel Fed Kyle he came out he was here out for work then in, in the fall and he stopped by my house and he took a look at my tune and he got together with Mike over at Red Barn Racing out in California that's who tunes his car if you guys don't know Kyle he has an awesome SS Camaro 2016 with a crazy built engine. It's running over a thousand horsepower with a YSI on it. sounds insane I am super jealous I basically yeah I, I, he makes me want to have to tear this car down and cam it and do all that kind of stuff so thanks Kyle for all of the encouragement to make my car chop like yours because I definitely need to maybe not as crazy as yours but we're gonna get a little bit close I think I'm gonna stick with my v3 SI we're not gonna go crazy crazy and go bigger than that just because I think with what I want to do with the car I think we're good there but Kyle came over looked at my tune and there was when, when I originally had a tune there was some issues just because it was a new car it was people were learning at that time and where I got attuned it was really far away and I just never got a chance to go back to have it revised and he came down and had Mike at Red Barn Racing check it out and then changed a few things and got some of my issues that I had fixed because I was tired of getting engine lights I was tired of idle going all over the place and all of that there was some other issues too like I have the MSD uh, intake on this car and those after the heat cycle a few times you have to just keep checking them for torque because they end up coming loose and I was getting some vacuum leaks and all of that and then you can end up with boost leaks and it's just a whole thing so you gotta just these cars they do require some maintenance you gotta keep up on making sure that everything's staying tight and all of that so big thanks to Mike and Kyle for getting the latest revision done here on this car because it has definitely made it a whole lot more fun to drive and I'm starting to enjoy the car again because nobody wants to sit there with an idle going all crazy and all that but we're, we're moving past that now and I'm starting to think that I need to go for the next level on this car in the next little bit here we've been working on the movie theater in the basement and just doing, doing some house project stuff and uh, 
it's just life has been very busy especially we you know we have kids we have a house stuff going on we have another house that we're working on and yeah there's just been a whole lot so there's gaps in video sometimes it's because it's stuff that I don't film it's just kind of life stuff going on but we're, we're always gonna get back to automotive content and, and making things interesting for you guys here on the channel. So I figured we just come out for a drive today. We're gonna talk a little bit about the Camaro. I've already spoken to Kyle a million times about the parts and stuff that we're gonna do as far as getting the valve train worked on this car. We're gonna get the, the cam done, all of that. And he might even come down and help me do that, which would be pretty awesome. And then we'll get it all tuned up and should be all good to go get this thing I mean it, it doesn't lack for power right now it just it doesn't sound the way I want it to and I mean nothing against I have the uh, the American Racing headers on this which are absolutely awesome quality and oh, we have the Catalyst mid pipes and we do have their exhaust as well but I gotta say I'm not I mean I paid full price for this stuff none of this stuff was sponsored I'm not really a fan of the startup and idle sound of this car it's just it's too quiet for me i mean for most people it might be totally fine but i want obnoxious i want nasty and i think awe has a awesome system i have their stuff on my rebel and my rebel's louder than this car and it just has that like hellcat throaty like really deep nice sound it's not like that muffled sound <laughs> people startups that's that's what I like also let me know what you guys think of the POV this is the POV hat cam that we have from the our insta 360 camera that I picked up so I've kind of been playing with this a little bit just kind of getting some content out there for you guys and just a ride along with the car and just let me know what you think of what it feels like to be in that position with the camera angles and all of that way too long since I've driven this thing. <laughs> oh, I love this car. Okay, we're getting, I'm getting some feelings for this car again. Like, I was a little bummed at some points with, you know, some of the issues that we had with the car and it just wasn't right. And it was just, you know, I don't know. I don't really want to get into that because it was just, anybody knows if you have a vehicle and you love it and you're like this is my car and like you're very excited about it and you're passionate about it passion comes with like a love for the car and when it's just like giving you issues and just letting you down because of things that you can't control it really kind of makes you just feel bad and you want to feel good with the car you don't want to feel bad about it so I think everybody knows and I've talked to many of my other car people when they run into issues with their car it just totally kills a vibe for them which is tough and sometimes it's just a, you know you got to get to the right shops you got to use the right parts and you got to use the right people and take the right advice because yeah sometimes it's tough I'm gonna say I really needed to drive this car again it's just it's been sitting in the shop it needs a wash I've taken it to Cars and Coffee, but it's just really not been getting the love that it needs, and I think we need to take take some measures here to get to the next step with this car, and I just really am excited to see, see it come to be the thing that I want it to be at the very end. I mean, a lot of things have changed since I first bought this car. Honestly, when I first bought this car, it was like pretty much at the top of my budget, and things have changed a little bit as far as financially and all that so now I think we can go I think we can do some more things so that that'll be very very nice and yeah let's go take a thumbnail by the corn so I hope you guys enjoyed coming along for the ride in the Camaro and yeah I'm very excited for the next chapter with this car and sometimes you know you just got to go with how things happen I mean there's always ups and downs and things just kind of happen the way they need to I guess very end 
we'll end up where we need to be, we hope. So, that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, and as always, keep that hammer down.